we are now going to find the slope of vertical and horizontal lines. So what if it goes straight up and down or straight left and right? No other pieces. And so we're going to look at two examples. We're going to start with x equals 5. So we come over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Remember, there's no y, so this is a purely vertical line right here. And what we want to know is what is the rise over the run. And so we notice on the rise, we can go up as many as we want. We have almost this idea of an infinite rise. I can go up one, if I started here, I could go up one, or I could go up two, or I could go up eight, or nine, or a hundred, and be way over the top of the graph here. Or I could go down, it could be negative, but there's no run. And I've got the zero on the bottom, and any time I have a zero on the bottom, we say that is undefined. And so this is a vertical line, this x equals five, has an undefined slope. M is undefined because we divide by zero, because there is no run. On the other hand, if we let y equal negative three, then we sit here at our negative three line going straight left or right. Again, we have rise over run. We have no rise whatsoever. It doesn't go up or down at all. It's neither positive nor negative, but it's zero on top. And we could pick anything we wanted for a run. Again, if we started here, we could go over seven, or we could come backwards three, or whatever it is we wanted. But zero over anything is zero. And so we end up with a m equals zero, or a zero slope. Now, I want you to be careful, because I don't like the term no slope, because no is a little ambiguous. So we'll always refer to our slope as being undefined, or our slope as being a zero slope. We will not use the term no slope.